Emma, this is all very difficult for the uh, Metropolitan Police. Yes, 30 years on and we're still talking about this dreadful case and we're again talking about the failures uh, by certain officers and the investigation, the original investigation uh, by the Metropolitan Police. So, as you say, five uh, suspects named at the time, two of them convicted in 2012, so that took nearly 20 years, but there was always this sixth person who hadn't been named, the fair-haired man. Now we know Know that that sixth suspect uh, was Matthew White, a man who had been uh, brought in by the police, arrested twice in 2000 and 2013, uh, but there was never deemed to be enough evidence to bring charges uh, against him. Um, now it's emerged that police failings meant that it took 20 years for them to talk to a relative of White who'd reported uh, his presence at the scene at the time. So it took until uh, 2013 for that to happen. Now, Doreen Lawrence, Stephen's mother, is furious about what has happened and she feels that no one is ever going to be brought to justice in terms of uh, officers from that original investigation. And this is what she had to say. What is infuriating about this latest revelation is that the man who's said to have led the murderous attack on my son has evaded justice because of police failures and yet not a single police officer has faced or will ever face action. The failure to properly investigate a main suspect in a murder case is so grave that it should be met by serious sanctions. Only when police officers lose their jobs can the public have confidence that failure and incompetence will not be tolerated and that change will happen. Well, we've heard uh, this afternoon from the Mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, who has given this response to these latest revelations. I'm, I'm shocked, I'm angry, but if I'm frank, I'm not surprised. I mean, this family... Uh, the Lawrence family have had to go through years and years uh, of discovering yet further failings from the police service, deep institutional, uh, racially driven failings. And uh, today's yet another example of that. And Dory Neville and the entire family are in my thoughts today. Yet another apology from the Metropolitan Police. This time it's come from the Deputy Assistant Commissioner, Matt Ward. This is what he had to say. The impact of the racist murder of Stephen Lawrence and subsequent inquiries continues to be felt throughout policing. Unfortunately, too many mistakes were made in the initial investigation and the impact of them continues to be seen. It is important to note that actually a file was given to this uh, Crown Prosecution Service uh, back in November of 2020 to consider whether four officers involved in that original investigation should face criminal charges in relation to their actions and no decision has yet been made. So it could well be uh, that Doreen Lawrence does get some uh, further justice yet.